Strongman Personal Finance. The day has finally come. The day when Jeremy Lafifi finally sold Tattooed Chef with over a million dollars in losses. And I, Christopher Belly, certified CPA accountant, long-term bogle investor, author of the book Stopping a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. Go buy my book, bro. Was right. Total victory, mother effers. So let's go through the breaking news of Jeremy Lafifi selling Tattoo Chef. And honestly, now that my final victory is here, I just feel empty inside. Like I've accomplished my life's objective. I had no other goals in my life except to see Jeremy sell Tattoo Chef. And now that it's done, now that it's over, what am I going to do with myself? <laughs> so here's the breaking news. So somebody said this to me earlier. I'll keep them anonymous unless, unless you come on here and comment, then I'll tell, tell people who you are. I assume people want to be anonymous. Mm. Financial education, Jeremy. This is his Discord. Today at 11.55 a.m. Uh, everybody, it finally... Am I sure, hold on, let me share my screen. Yes. It finally just happened. I just sold all of my tattoo shop after a two-year drama show. I took my million plus in losses. Probably two million. And I'm moving on now to a new grift. I have given the company chance after chance, and they have done nothing but let me down time and time again. You think the company cares about you, Jeremy Lafoufou? You're an embarrassment to Tattoo Chef. They're embarrassed that you're pumping them. The company can't even get quarterly reports done. We knew that many quarters ago. Hmm. Never have I ever been so disappointed in a company. I hope they avoid bankruptcy. I don't. I hope they go bankrupt. Please. Oh, please, baby. Oh, Lord. Lord, please give me the inspiration to destroy Tattoo Chef. Since I actually love their products, but with that management team, it's a hopes and prayers situation. I'm not embarrassed about taking a loss on a stock. Uh, yeah, you are, loser. I know if I buy 10 stocks, at least two of them will end up selling for a loss. Uh, no, loser. You actually, basically every stock you buy goes down massively. Okay, except what you know, uh, oh, what Tesla, see? Uh. I'm embarrassed about how much money I put into the stock. <laughs> you're, an, you're an idiot investor. Why are people paying you, Jeremy? It should have been a 50 to 100K loss, not a million plus. And the funny thing is this clown lost a million dollars, right? It ain't going to make a difference. Not in the slightest. He's still going to make his little grift money. He's got his Patreon going. He's got his ad revenue. This is just a, a blip on the radar of his massive lifelong scam so let's go ahead and <clears throat> look at the stock so the stock was down 14 and a half percent today and i kept seeing comments like strongman what are you gonna do about tattoo chef talk about tattoo chef and i said what is there to talk about with tattoo chef i looked and i was like okay were there any news releases okay the last thing i see is they received a non-compliance notice on april 5th 2023 I, wh what happened earnings didn't come out right i didn't see anything with tattoo chef and then all of a sudden, I figured out, <clears throat> by reading comments, of course, that Jeremy Lafayette went ahead and sold all of his tattooed chef. And to me, it's pretty crazy, okay? This one guy sells his tattooed chef, right? So it opens up in the morning. Then he posts his little video, right? And then the stock plunges after hours. That's weird, okay? Because he put, he, he put out his video at, like, what, 11, right? Let's see what Tommy put out his video. Four hours ago. Oh, it was after hours. <laughs> what a scammer. So he gave his buddies time to get out, okay? This is the, this is so dirty. He tells people at noon that he sold his tattoo chef in his Discord, pay to play, remember? And then he drops the video four hours ago, so exactly after market closed. So you can clearly see why it dumped after hours. It was. This is probably the one of the few times where Jeremy has actually moved his stock. I really believe 
that Jeremy caused this. 100%. What else could have caused this? I, I didn't see any. I mean, maybe if news came out and I missed it, I'm sorry. But I didn't see anything. <clears throat> so I think Jeremy caused this. And he gave his little buddies warning. And he screwed everybody else that watches this channel. But you know what? You could have just signed up for his Discord and then you would have known. Okay. Let's go ahead and react to a stupid video. Oh, God. Thank God it's only five minutes long. I can't watch this idiot. I don't even, I don't even care about him anymore. He's so lame. We're going to watch this at speed and a half because he talks slow. Hey, I'm Jeremy. <laughs> Well, folks, it's official. I have sold all my TTCF stock. Yes, I have indeed. I've given this management team time and time again, chance after chance, and just to be let down and let down. And um, today was the day. It's finally time to cut it all loose. And so that's exactly what I did. Okay. A few things I want to share in this video. And I hope this helps out folks um, avoid a problem like I got into, obviously, with the stock and taking a massive, massive loss. First thing I want to say is I was wrong. I was, in, I was wrong in regards to the entire plant-based food movement. I thought this was going to become a massive, massive thing. And as more times ticked on, the more I've come to the conclusion that the plant-based food movement is kind of a niche thing. The vegan movement, the whole deal. The plant-based vegan industry is niche? Everybody's a vegan, right? I know like three vegans, okay? And they're all soy boys. I don't hang out with vegans. I don't know any vegans out there. Who's, who thought this was anything other than a niche movement? Who was going to go to a store? Pay double the price of the equivalent food that you can make yourself and buy a bunch of soy boy trash. Hmm. Very, very few people are going to do that. This was obviously a niche movement. Okay. That's the first bad note that he starts on. The second thing that he mentions is, oh, it's the management. It's the management's fault. Oh, it's not the management. Well, it is. But it, it isn't the management's fault that you lost money. It's because you're an incompetent clown and a fraud. And I'm happy that you lost a million dollars. And I'm going to give a round of applause to everybody that bought put options on Tattoo Chef and made a boatload of money off of this massive freaking loser. You should be proud of yourself. This guy is scum. This guy is a scammer. This guy is a fraud. And he has built so many people out of their money. And he finally gets a little bit of comeuppance. He lost a million dollars. But it isn't quite enough. He's still got a YouTube channel. He's still pumping trash. Now he's just shifting his grift to other popular stocks that are popular on YouTube. Jesus. In 2020, 2021, there was massive amounts of people trying vegan diets, plant-based food diets. And I really thought that trend was going to continue. Now I go into my favorite plant-based or, or vegan restaurants here in Vegas and they're ghost towns. We, I went took my family last weekend to one of our favorite vegan restaurants and it was a ghost town in that place. I mean, literally, I think there might have been one other customer. And this was at 5.30 on a Saturday. I go to Texas Roadhouse and there's an hour wait. I go to Cheesecake Factory and there's an hour wait. And so nonetheless, folks, um, I think I was wrong uh, about the whole the whole vegan movement, the plant-based food movement. And that needs to be said. Oh, you're so brave for admitting you're wrong, Jeremy. Even though you said you, people will get 30% returns if they signed up for your Patreon or whatever, bro. Oh, but you're so brave. See, at least he admits he's wrong. He completely lies and I think it's fraudulent. He completely lies about saying, yeah, you can get 30% returns. But that's just washed away because he said, Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> what a joke. Okay, second thing is, there's a lot we can take from this. I've always had a saying that if you're going to bet on an unprofitable stock, you bet small. I did not listen to my own advice, and that's why I've taken over a $1 million loss in the stock. I didn't even listen to my own advice on that. The bottom line is, if you're buying an unprofitable stock, understand it's a speculative position. Keep the position sizing small. So then if you're wrong, it's a small loss, not a huge loss. This should have been a, a 50K loss for me, a 100K loss, not a million dollar plus loss. Second thing is, I've always said, be careful of unproven management teams. And I totally overlooked that in this investment. And I decided to bet heavy on an unproven management team. The fact is that- Okay, <clears throat> I remember him talking about Sam Galetti. Hasn't the guy been in management for decades? That's what I remember him saying. Maybe I heard it wrong. But that guy's supposedly been managing stuff for decades. He was talking about the management back in the day. Oh, Sam Galetti by Sheridan Getty. He's so amazing. He's so experienced. He's going to build this company into a tenant's by index. <laughs> and now he's saying the management. Oh, they're, they're untested. They're untested. Okay, Jeremy, you're just blatantly lying. You're being a clown. Stop. Management teams never had experience in, uh, you know, obviously leading a public company. And I overlooked that. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. And... I mean, it's the worst management team, but, you know, not, I don't want to be disrespectful, but it's the worst management team by far of any company I've ever invested in. And that includes... You're the worst management team. Your company is a fraud. You crap on Tattoo Chef, at least they have a company. At least they've stayed in business and provided some kind of value. Even Soy Boy uh, Buddha Bowls provide value. I'm hungry. 
Okay, it's not going to fill me up, but at least I have food. At least I got calories. His company, Financial Fortress, if it's even still a thing anymore, provides a negative value. How dare you bash Tattooed Chef's management when you completely destroy people's lives with crappy stocks like this and blatant lies about 30% returns oh, every year. <laughs> oh, but you're so brave. Oh, you're so brave, Jeremy. Oh, oh my course, bro. Foods, GoPro. I had Nick Woodman, Mr. Yacht Man. Mr. I like to sail around on my yacht instead of running a company. <laughs> and um, this management team, I'll take, I'll take Nick Woodman and, and how bad that management team was any day over this management team. I've never seen a management team that incompetent in my life that could blow through nine figures of cash and a snap of fingers. And uh, take gross. It's like he's talking about himself. It's just so funny. Was margins negative. Miss earnings period. Red flags. That's the third period. I should have sold this stock back. I think it was late. I think it was late 2021 or maybe early 2022. They missed an earnings. And when I say missed an earnings, I don't mean they missed the numbers. I mean literally, the management team like I guess forgot that they had an earnings. Like, uh, what? I've been investing 15 years. I've never had a company just be like, wait, oh, we were supposed to have our earnings today, and just like <laughs> not even do the earnings. Like that was the moment I should have sold out of the stock. And I, at that time, I could have probably taken maybe a 200k or 300k loss probably on the stock or so instead of an over a million dollar loss. Third thing is, am I embarrassed? I'm not embarrassed about taking a loss in the stock. Like if I buy 10 stocks, I'm always of the, I'm going to take a loss on likely at least two of those 10 stocks, if not three. So it's not a game when you're an investor, it's not a game where like you're going to bat 100%. That's not the way this works. I wish it was that way, but it's not. You're always going to take losses. So I'm not embarrassed by taking a loss. I'm just, I am embarrassed by the, the size of loss. You know, to take over a $1 million loss in the stock, that's embarrassing for me. That just shows that I was completely delusional and gambling in the situation. And um, that, that for me is always the most disappointing thing. And fourth thing is tax loss harvesting. Obviously, I'll be able to write this one off for at least two to four years. So all the gains I take this year, next year on stocks, the year after, I'll be able to obviously write those off against this tattoo chef loss for a while, at least two to four years here in this situation. Okay. Now, what I did with the money, here's what I want to <laughs> Oh, at least he gets the tax loss harvest. Okay, yes, he gets to reduce, he gets to net out his capital gains or his capital losses, okay? But the ending deduction, the net loss is only 3000 per year. It's not even that much of an impact on your tax return. And it's better to make gains and pay taxes on the gains than have a loss because you're an incompetent clown and then say you're going to use that for tax loss harvesting, okay? But, oh, I guess I guess you are going to save yourself in tax. You're going to save yourself 37% tax because you lost almost 100%. Good job, buddy. I went ahead and bought here today. I bought Revolve. I bought Palantir. I bought Cheesecake Factory. I bought PayPal, which is <laughs> – that's almost uh... – Ironic. I bought uh, PayPal, I bought Skyward Solutions, and I bought Amazon, all profitable companies that I love for the long term and uh, obviously believe in their business models and I think they can thrive in the future. So that covers that. It's the end of an era, folks. It's the end of that uh, 2021 era of, you know, what it was. Let's just call it that. So I appreciate everybody. Much love as always. And uh, have a great day. Woo, baby. It really is the end of an era, man. Like, <clears throat> it's been such a long time where I've been taking a dump on Tattooed Chef. I mean, dude, I have been crapping on this stock. For a year and a half. And now it's finally over. And this is the end. Just a five minute video. Well, I decided to sell it. And then I bought some other clown stocks. And that that's it. It's like he's going out with the whimper. Okay. He's still got a channel. He's still making money. He's still grifting. Once the next bull market comes back, he's going to be okay. What did I accomplish? I'm, I'm having an existential crisis right now. Okay. I need reassurance from my audience. Did I make a difference? Did I change the world? Did I improve people's lives for the better? Or have I failed? Because Jeremy's still there grifting. Grifting. Even though he lost a million freaking dollars. People are still paying him freaking money. Even though he lost money. Head over fist like a freaking loser. You tell me. Let's do some comments. Okay. Let's see. I smell a lawsuit <laughs> from who Jeremy needs Chris saying private coaching. So you can become the Steph Kerr. Oh God. They did file an SEC file saying they wouldn't file 10 Q and they disclosed pretty much out of money. They were down to just 3 million in cash still. Oh, they did. That's interesting. I stand corrected. I'll, maybe I'll look at it in another video. Okay. I'm tired. Just say you were greedy. It's definitely a trend. So it's time to, buy. I actually, no joke. I was sitting there. I was like, should I buy Tattoo Chef now? <laughs> like, seriously. <laughs> That'd be so funny if I bought it and made like a 2X on it. But I I, I don't know, man. Do I really want to put $1,000 in the Tattoo Chef? Do I really want to risk $1,000 on that piece of trash? Ugh. I don't know. Jeremy, just say you were damn. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. They didn't have enough revenue. But that was the greatest moment of my life. So no matter what happened, Jeremy was like, well, the revenue is going up. It's the revenue, guys. He would always brag about the revenue. And then that there was one of those quarters where the revenue collapsed epically. That was that was just such a great feeling that the one thing that he shilled the stock about was an absolute freaking disaster.
But he still held on to it for another like three months. Like, why today? Why did you sell today, Jeremy, of all days? Let's see. Did you sell your Baba stock? I did not. Let's see. <laughs> Excuse video, not a... Ex ex yeah, he, look. He will never admit that he's a fraud, okay? It's like he he's already made it in life. He He's one of the few clowns that are incompetent and got rewarded for it. And he's never going to give it up. Ever. He will never, ever give up YouTube. <clears throat> he literally led people directly to failure. You can't make this crap. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> Tattoo chef down 14% after hours. Well, apparently there's some kind of SEC filing. I don't know. I'm going to go research it later, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'll do a separate video. He lost a lot on paper. He lost a lot on everything. Even Meta stock, which he's bragging about. He was buying that in the two and three hundreds. Oh, but Meta, my channel. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Still got a YouTube channel. Still got a Patreon. Let's see. Hmm. Who would have thought stalking people at the grocery store was not a bus? I mean, I, I was almost convinced by that. I'm not going to lie, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Jeremy is such a deceiving snake, not a clown. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe him anymore. I wonder if he's just going to buy Texas Roadhouse now with that hour wait time. I, honestly, that's, that is Jeremy DD right there. But the real reason he's potentially going to buy Texas Roadhouse, if he hasn't already, is because... Uh, it's popular with what's his nuts. Joseph Carlson. I, th I think Joseph Carlson has Texas Roadhouse. So Jeremy's going to be like, well, it's profitable. Jo Another YouTuber likes it, so I'm going to buy it. <laughs> and he'll probably get views from it. Let's see. Tattooed Chef is the next Tesla, bro. Yeah. Oh, yes. I'm going to put my reputation on this stock. Oh, it went down 90%. Oh, okay. I'll just, oh, whatever. I'll sell it and move on. <laughs> I wish I could just put my, I, I wish I could just use my reputation for everything. And then even though I fail, I just get more rewarded with more money. I wish I had that life. If Jeremy is here, say hi. He's not here. He's crying in a corner. Very good food company was even worse. Wonder how much he lost on that. Oh, he made money. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see. Thumb up. Yeah, everybody give me a thumb up. Okay. This is probably this is probably my second to last tattooed chef video. Okay, maybe my third. So what I'm gonna do? Actually, you know, I'm not gonna put a limit to my tattooed chef videos. Apparently, they had some kind of filing. I'll go look at that. Maybe not tonight. Probably not tonight. Uh, the next earnings I'll cover. And whatever earnings come after that. And then when they finally declare bankruptcy, that may be my last Tattooed Chef video. Okay, so it's not... The era is not quite over. Like, there's still some strings keeping us attached to Tattooed Chef. But it's basically over. Okay? It's basically over. Ball Breath Brian overlooks Financial Fortress from the moat. Oh, ball breath. He started, I think he like started his own company. I was researching that clown. <laughs> he's, he's, he's up to some other grift. Let's see. Strong man was right. Yeah, it was so hard to call that one, man. I, I'm just such a genius. I am such a smart guy. Jeremy Lefebvre should delete his channel now. Pfft, come on, man. You know he's not going to do that. The, the grift money's too easy. Ima imagine if you were just a moron and you just got paid for it. Like, Man, I want that life. Here I, you know what I was doing today? I was at my work, like working with PDFs and Excel and doing all this stuff. And I, I had to work hard. I got my bachelor's in accounting. I got my master's in accounting. I got my CPA license. I served in the army to get the GI bill to pay for college. I did all this work. And here I am sitting in my office eight hours a day, working like a little bussy boy. And here's Jeremy doing nothing but losing money and getting paid for it. The injustice. The injustice. <laughs> it's okay, though. At least I'm not a fraud. At least I can look myself in the mirror and touch my nipples and like it. I don't go to bed sitting there, laying there, thinking about what a loser and failure I am. He turned 1.4 million into 40K. What a magician, Andre. <laughs> he's, wor he's the worst investor on you. He really is. Like You, you, you cannot be worse than Jeremy Lefebvre. <laughs> uh, let's see buy silver oh, i wonder how a silver in investment did jeremy lefebvre is legit the worst he is he's he is like you cannot you would have to try to pick trash stocks because like I, if i was investing and purposely trying to lose money man i don't know i mean i guess crypto would be a worse investment but it, it's hard like besides crypto the stocks he picked were some of the worst performers i've ever seen absolutely horrible and they didn't just like they didn't just like go down okay 
there's a there's a distinction here you have to understand. The stocks just didn't go down. Sometimes the stock goes down and it, it just means it's more of a, a buy potentially, right? His stocks went down because they're massively unprofitable and they're about to go bankrupt. Do you see the difference there? Okay, great stocks can go down. Meta went down to $90. It's a great profitable company. Was that a bad stock because it went down? No, it wasn't. Is Tattooed Chef a bad stock because it went down? Yes, because it's massively unprofitable, share diluting, bankrupt trash. You see the difference there? He picked the share diluting, bankrupt trash. That's how bad he is. It's management's fault. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Sloth from the Goonies is smarter than Jeremy. <laughs> I, yeah, honestly, if they took an IQ test, I would not be surprised if Sloth defeated him. Strongman is lucky Jeremy even made a video about it. Usually Jeremy just sells. He had to make a video about it. At least he can recuperate some of his losses with this tattooed chef video and the ad revenue that he gets. Let's see. <clears throat> there are a lot of crappy stocks he used to have. Let me take this stupid hat off. I have to retire that hat now. There are a lot of crappy stocks he used to have that he never talked about anymore. What happened to the real? The real, real? There's so many stocks that he's lost money on. Like I, even I lose track. Like you literally have to have an Excel sheet and track this guy because he's so crafty and sneaky with what he does. He can like go all in a stock one day and then you never hear about it again because it went down 50%. He's crafty, man. Let's see. They haven't even filed their 22. Dude, they're a disaster. They are an absolute nuclear disaster. Okay. <laughs> I bet you I could put an intern, an entry level accountant, fresh out of college, and they would do better than the, the CFO of that company. <laughs> Man, hilarious, great stuff. Can you make fun of Mullen? They're a funny management company. I've crapped on Mullen a couple times. His fanboys won't do a lawsuit. They're too far into the car. If he hasn't been sued now, he ain't never getting sued. We should all buy Tattooed Chef now. Bet it goes up at some point. I, I seriously sat there and thought about it. I was like, man, should I buy it? But then it's just such a trash company. Ugh. Remember, folks, Jeremy's the ultimate signal. When he buys, we sell. When he sells, we buy. <clears throat> I'm not going to say buy or sell, but Jeremy is a very contrarian indicator. But when it comes to Tatsy Chef, like I, I could see that company going bankrupt very soon. Did he sell Honest? I need to cover their earnings, actually. Uh, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Let's see. Reminder, Strongman made more off. That is 100% facts. How much... How much did I make? Was it? I forgot. $25. I made 25 bucks. Actually, I want to pull up my receipts right now. Let's see if they're still on Robinhood. Here we <laughs> Hold on. We got to look at my tattooed chef receipts. Jeremy lost 1.5 mil. I made $15 on tattooed chef. $15 profit. And I made that in a day. You extrapolate that out to an annualized return, and I am better than Warren Buffett by an order of magnitude. I destroyed Jeremy's returns. He gets 30% per year. I get 30% per second, mother effa. <laughs> oh, man, isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful, ladies and gentlemen? <clears throat> Let's see. He was buying Coinbase. Oh, yeah, that's another one. Coinbase! Let's see. <laughs> Jeremy had a stock picking contest between Meet Kevin and Graham, and they were up 5%. He was down 29%. <laughs> I had a contest, too. I, I bought VT, and he bought his clown stocks, and I absolutely destroyed him. My four-year-old son can pick better. I mean, honestly, there's been experiments where, like, you know, they'll have, like, a, you know, they'll have, like, a, an animal pick stuff, like a goldfish or something like that. <laughs> goldfish. <laughs> picking stocks, and it does better than the average investor. <laughs> What a joke. The writing was on the wall, of course. Let's see. Echoes from Above owns zero metals. Uh, I don't understand. You talking about like uh, gold? I don't own gold either. I know. Hmm. Maybe there's something else going on here. <clears throat> don't forget about very good, uh, very good food company and beyond either. Oh, I'm trying to stretch my back. Oh, God. I need to go see a chiropractor. He never mentioned getting out of those vegan stocks. All Jeremy does is fail and then gets one or two bangers and brags about them <clears throat> to no end. Oh, man. Now he's going hard in the palettes here. He's like, oh, what, what is a popular scam stock that I could talk about that'll, that'll get me a lot of views? Because even when I do a palettes video, I get more views than normal. It's such an easy way to just get like 
easy money on YouTube. It's just pump trash. It's so easy. I could so do this. <laughs> but here I am working a real job like a loser. Oh, man. Hey, strong man. What if Tattoo Chef is a buy now? Wouldn't you want to buy it after Jeremy sold and make money? I really would. I, I don't know. <laughs> Tattoo Chef is just that. It's that bad. It is that bad that I don't think I'm going to buy it. 100%. It's like, should I really risk $1,000 when I could just put it into VT in my IRA? Do I really want to risk $1,000 on Tattooed Chef? I don't know. I'm, I'll think about it. Let's see. Can you do a review on VGGIF? Uh, if you pay me 40 bucks, I will. <laughs> 100%. Let's see. Get Tardass McGee on the channel. <laughs> You people. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> the day Jeremy goes back to the gas station, I will personally fly to Las Vegas. He must scan my snacks and pump my gas. <laughs> well, he's going to be at the charging station, bro. He's going to, uh, there's not going to be any gas cars. I actually don't see you making any video about stocks. All I see is a bunch of trash stock. What are you talking about? The last like five videos I made. Okay, I, so I made one this morning or whenever I filmed. I don't even remember when I filmed that video. But the videos before that, I talk, I've talked about like five different stocks. What are you talking about? God, you people. It's like people don't even like watch my channel. They just make outlandish comments. Do you know your hair is blonde? Yeah, my hair is freaking blonde. Yeah. It's kind of crap people say. It just makes no freaking sense. He turned 1.4. Can you imagine if somebody gave you 1.4 million dollars? I, I mean, I would I would quit my job immediately. I would be done. I would be done. I mean, I would still do like YouTube and tutoring, and but I, like my life would basically be set. 1.4 million dollars. Imagine if you had the gift of for 1.4 million dollars, and instead of putting that to good use, you put it into Tattooed Chef, and you lose 1.3 million dollars. Can you believe that? The opportunity squandered by that man. Somebody could have been set for retirement. Some old person could have had $1.4 million and been set for the rest of their lives and lived their last years in comfort. But no, the money goes to Jeremy LaFave. What a disaster. Let's see. Oh my God, there's so many comments. Let's see. I don't even know which one to... Uh... <laughs> I don't even know which one's to answer. There's so many freaking comments. Let's see. Stop it. Jeremy didn't lose a time on Tattoo Dime on Tattoo Chef. It's in the 10K. Oh, trust me. He lost some money. 100%. Jeremy lied about two to four years of tax loss harvesting of one mil. You can only claim loss of 3K. It will take him the rest of his life. Well, well what he can do is if he has uh, gains during the year, he can because if he has a, a loss carryover. You can only use three 3K a year, but the rest carries forward. So in the next year, if you have gained, you can take that carry forward and offset your losses. So he can use them, but the net net loss is only three, basically. So he can cancel out most gains, and then on his tax return, he can deduct $3,000 from his income uh, for the net net loss. But uh, technically, he's right, shockingly. <clears throat> Reach out to our class action team for help recovering your losses. Now, this is an ironic comment right here, okay? I'm celebrating the destruction of Tattooed Chef, which I called a year and a half ago. And this guy's uh, pushing the lawsuit. That's the lawsuit that's against me. <laughs> oh, my God. It's fun. This entertains me. You should, you should upload more videos. They entertain me. I like them. Let's see. Nah, I don't pay people for financial advice. Hey, you know, you pay me 40 bucks, I can change your life, man. I'm telling you, you want you want some good advice? You pay me forty dollars. You know, a lot of people should have paid me forty bucks and listened to me about Tattoo Chef, but they didn't. No, they didn't. No, sir, they didn't listen to Strong Man. And here I am, sitting here after work, covered in sweat because I haven't showered yet for my workout, making fun of Jeremy. You don't have to lie. Kick it with me, bro. All right. Uh, well, I think that's it. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some research into this SEC filing that. Tattooed Chef hasn't even put on their website yet. And I mean, I'm not going to probably not going to make a video tonight. And I still have a backlog of people that pay me $40. So I'm going to be a busy boy this weekend. Okay. These last few days have been like crazy. Like my kids were sick and my wife got sick. Blah, blah, blah. I've been so freaking busy. I haven't had time to do anything. It's just a disaster. But all right, guys, that's it. Tattooed. He sold Tattooed Chef. It's over. Uh, Jeremy's a moron.
Uh, you pay me 40 bucks and I'll answer that. I bet Chris Rubel will probably call the top of the strong man. <laughs> Look, here's the thing about my channel. My channel will always be relevant. People will make fun of me like, oh, you only have 11,000 subscribers. I can be on YouTube for the rest of my life. Okay. A lot of these clowns can't say that. They are, they are, they only benefited from the clown market. They were only relevant during the clown market. I could be relevant forever. Okay. That's my plan with this channel. Be relevant and grow slowly forever. I'd like to grow fast. I haven't, but I will be here forever. Talking the talk, taking a dump. Let's see. <laughs> I need, screw, oh man, you're betraying me like that, screw college. Wow, that that's a stab in the back. That hurts, man. You've been here forever. And you're you're finally gonna turn against me. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good night. Jeremy's a moron. Cheers.